we're all accustomed to nature's life and death rhythms. Birth in the spring, eventually followed by a dying phase in the fall. As humans, we belong to the same community of life, moving through life to death. As people enter the dying phase of their own life cycle, we can anticipate marked changes in the body's rhythms and functions, and a distancing of the spirit from the immediate environment, including loved ones. The person is going from our sight. Death comes when all body systems have completed their natural process of shutting down. It comes at its own time and is as unique in its presentation as the life it brings to closure. There's no reason to believe that the person in late-stage dementia entering the dying process doesn't go through a final closure on an emotional and spiritual level just as they do on the physical level. As family members, we've probably been experiencing this distancing from our loved one for some time, months and years perhaps, as the dementia progressed and communication became increasingly difficult. We may have had the painful experience of not being recognized by our loved one, or even shunned because of the delusion. We have undoubtedly known grief as our loved one was being stripped of personal, functional, and cognitive abilities. However, we may have also experienced the person's spirit breaking through in the midst of such diminishments. We know with more certainty than ever that we are more than body, brain, and breath.